So a chondroplasia is a uh, condition of, uh, characterized by delayed skeletal development and, uh, uh, and, and very short limbs, but it's also characterized by a number of uh, complications which are associated with the uh, disproportions observed in the, in the skeleton of these individuals. For example, uh, individuals suffering from achondroplasia uh, typically have uh, neurological, uh, ENT, orthopedic, uh, respiratory uh, complications which could impact their life either very early on or later in life. Achondroplasia uh, has an incidence of 1 in 15, 20,000 new births. And so there are approximately 250,000 people in the world uh, with achondroplasia. And uh, those uh, that live in the US are about 20,000, and a similar number you can find in Western Europe. There are no treatments uh, available currently that address the cause of achondroplasia. Most interventions available. Uh, really are there to mitigate the complications or the consequences of the com complications. For example, orthopedic surgery uh, or uh, to correct tibial bowing, for example, or uh, neurosurgery to correct a very narrow from a magnum. Um, so these interventions really are just addressing severe complications associated with achondroplasia. The fibroblast Rho factor receptor 3 or FGFR3 uh, is the key uh, protein or gene that is uh, altered in achondroplasia. So, this uh, receptor normally plays an inhibitory role uh, on bone development. So, the signaling, molecular signaling that is activated by binding, with, by ligand binding to this receptor, translates into uh, an inhibitory uh, signal onto bone development. And what is found in achondroplasia with the achondroplasia mutation uh, is a, uh, what we describe, we scientists describe as a gain of function of the mutation. So, so the, the, the receptor is uh, overactive and that translates in something that is like stepping on a, on a break in terms of bone development. So a delay in bone development. 